So I got my box of sea urchins. Uh, there's a lot of them. And as you can see, I'm in the elevator. Anyway, let's get these guys into the classroom. Okay, so I got these guys into the classroom. You can see I just have tons of stuff from Carolina Biological Supplies. Uh, because I can't access any of these cabinets. It kind of sucks. I have to have everything in boxes out here. But the cool thing is that the urchins are here. I'm going to pop one of these open. Um, and then the others are going to be for tomorrow's class. I'm a little worried about them staying viable overnight. But I mean, I, it's not like I can change my students' schedules just because of a lab. So um, some of them are leaking. Uh, the FedEx guy said some of them are leaking. So I'm going to pick the one that is leaking the worst and use that one for today. Okay. Hi everyone. <laughs> so we're opening the first box that looks like it's leaking the most. And actually as I'm handling it, it's super leaking. You want to come around over here. So they're labeled urchins for embryology. And they're in this tropical fish box. Oh wow, you can see how wet this box is. So let's open it up and see what's inside. They're supposed to be individually packaged. So, see we got the regular styro in here. There we go. There's a big outer bag that's not doing its job clearly. I mean, these things are covered in spines, right? That's why they're probably leaking because they punctured through their little bags. Um, but let's see. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> let's open it up. Oh, they're blacked out. See? Huh. So they can't see each other. And this one looks like there's water everywhere. But let's see. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> I don't know what species of urchin this is. They're smaller than I thought they would be. But apparently they're sexual. There's a lot of stuff in the bag. Really hoping that it didn't release its sperm and eggs in the bag, but I have a feeling this one did. See that yellowy cloud? Um, sometimes just shaking sea urchins will cause them to release their gametes. So that's not a good sign. Let's see if this one... Okay. Oh god. This one also has... the water's quite turbid. Well, we'll see if it releases today when the kids get them but they are moving around. They're definitely alive. It's pretty heavy bags too. But they, look at how small, they're cute, huh? huh. So neat. <laughs> but yeah, so I gotta count, oops, oh no. I gotta count how, how many of them are in here. And then we're gonna have five groups in this room. Five groups, two to three sea urchins each and uh, we'll see if we can get them to spawn. So, anyway. Cool. I just want to see what's going on. Is anything coming out? Yeah, that thing. Okay, so you want to put a little bit on the depression slide and see what's in there? It's flopping! It's flopping! Okay, is it, does it have color? Weird. No. I can't see it. It's a boy. I told you it's a boy. It's a boy? I told you. <laughs> okay, so take a look at it under the microscope. What do we got? How do we put it on? Is that a so what stage do you think these are Late at? Blastula. Yeah. Late blastula. Yeah. Wow, they're moving around. Oh, so like they're moving. Look at that one. Sweet. 